What's up everyone, it's Amy from This Fangirl and I'm here in glorious South London in Selhurst Park. Today we're on a mission to meet the female football fans of Crystal Palace and understand what it means from them to be a fan of the club. Emma, I might get a similar one of you actually. Crystal Palace has had its fair share of ups and downs over the years. There's been promotions, there's been relegations, there's been FA Cup battles and there has been administrations. So I want to understand what it means to support this club and speak to the women who make this club such an incredible place to be. I'm Simon Mawson, I'm a foreign correspondent and presenter in uh, radio and television and I'm a huge Palace fan. It's been a real experience of, you know, the right and bright years, the team of the 90s flying high and then we've ha had so many ups and downs and I think what's really special about Palace is, is that we've not necessarily been a Premier League club the whole time but the fans have always been there. We've always come out whether it's away matches or home matches and, and I think that is what makes Palace truly special actually. So as a female fan, do you sort of feel that the experience has changed for women coming to football? over the last couple of years? Oh gosh, yeah, so very, very much. From my first match where I kind of felt like a token mascot, you know, someone bringing along their uh, younger female friend and then my brother taking his little sister down to being a kind of legitimate supporter in my own right, it's changed a lot. One of the things I find really interesting as well is that the conversation about football is still so male-dominated as well. When you have banter, I can get quite, quite quite boisterous about it, you know, and, and I support my local team or I, I tease and chant and when I do it, it it's not okay I'm being too aggressive because I'm a woman maybe, yet when men do it they can shout, they can swear, they can go all out uh, and I find that extraordinary. I think there's lot, lots that can be done, whether it's creating more groups for female supporters, uh, initiatives like yours, you know, this fangirl is such a great initiative to really put the spotlight in on all of us and, and the fact that we belong to. And also with the Palace women's team as well, that, that's a huge part as well of, of Crystal Palace Football Club and I think it's really important for more of us to recognise that. Yeah, it, it, more women in football, that's Absolutely. what we need. Fantastic, we'll have to go to a Crystal Palace. Palace ladies saying together. <laughs> uh, we will, let's do that. Great. Perfect. Thank you so Thank much. You. The Palace fans are ready, we're going to win. It's really nice to be able to speak to you. Just for people who don't know, would you be able to tell us a little bit about you? Uh, yeah, so I'm a Palace ladies player, so I've been at Crystal Palace now for three seasons. Um, in terms of Palace, you were sort of saying, like, saying us a little bit before about how you feel like it's a real family club. It's just a good community feel, sort of, um, when you come down here, a lot of people will recognise uh, the ladies team, the ladies players. It's kind of one sort of community hub, mm. which is really nice. And football's definitely developed over the last, I'd say, last three or four years. I think that's a lot to do with the media coverage it's getting now. Um, so obviously if the men's are doing events and promotional um, events that help us get us on the map a little bit more, that, that makes a massive difference. And you're a fan of Crystal Palace like men's yourself? Is it I'm, your first team? Yeah, I'm an Arsenal fan but okay. Crystal Palace is pretty much yeah in my heart so yeah, support them um, whenever I can really. Nice one. Yeah, I think we're getting told to go off anyway. <laughs> Perfect, thank you so much. I'm getting it, I'm getting selfie with Zaha. My name is High Money and uh, I am a great, great fan of Crystal Palace Football Club. I am Crystal Palace. Route into it was pure accident. On one of my son's birthdays when he was seven, he asked to go to Crystal Palace for his birthday too. And when I got to Salah Spark, I it's like a black and white movie, it turned into colour. It was magnificent. The colour, the sound, the atmosphere, it was just so magic. This is it, I want to come back. H how come this world has been hidden from me? I had no idea. And that's over nearly 30 years and I haven't missed a match. When I started out as a photographer, I remember actually I was told you've got to go to the press room. And I walked into the room and it was all men. And they all said, hello, hello, what we got here? Got your knitting, darling, you brought your crochet with you. 
and they were making fun of me loudly over my head. I didn't even know that there was uh, discrimination law. I, I, couldn't re I couldn't go to the newspapers and complain because they were the very people that bullied me. But today, just go for it. The world is your oyster today. And you've got to support Crystal Palace. <laughs>